Here are the best budgeting apps for 2024. Hey there, I'm Ray Flammer, a financial coach with videos all about budgeting and money saving tips for you and your family. Each year I share a video with the best budgeting apps. Originally I tested out about 30, but over time they make changes and new things come out. Now in 2024, Mint has shut down, so I want to show you some alternatives. I'm just sharing the best options with an overview of how they work. I have more detailed videos about them and tutorials. Links will be in the description box down below, as well as some that I don't show you here, but they deserve an honorable mention. I'll give you more info on them in the description box below. The simplest and easiest budgeting app to start with is Every Dollar. Every Dollar is a zero based budget. It comes with a free version that does everything you need, but then they have a premium version you can pay for with additional features. It is zero based, so you start with your income, then you add all of your expenses, and up at the top, it's going to show you how much money you have left to budget. And the goal is to get down to zero. It comes with kind of a preset template, but you can edit it and customize it to yourself. You can add categories, delete, rename, rearrange, so that it's customized to what you want. With the free version, you have to manually enter in all of your transactions. If you do the premium version, it will you can link to your accounts, your bank accounts, credit cards, and it will import your transactions for you. Now, a big hang up most people have with every dollar is it does not recognize American Express. So this is an app designed by Dave Ramsey. So he is anti debt and anti credit cards. That being said, I have a credit card and mine are recognized. It just doesn't recognize American Express. If you've got the paid for version and it automatically imports your transactions, you still have to categorize them yourself. It is not automated. It wants you to feel the expense. It wants you to emotionally attach to it. Um, it does make it, they do offer a one click categorization. So you, if it's something to use regularly, you can set up. So you just have to click one button rather than select it and choose the category to simplify it. They do have funds. You can turn any expense into a fund so that you're money from that fund will roll over month to month rather than restarting new. It's very easy to toggle between how much you've spent versus how much you have remaining. Um, it's very visual. Red means you've gone over budget. Green means you still have money to spend. With your account, you get one login. So you say you and your spouse or your family want to use the same budget. You can all use the same budget on different devices, but you just have the one login to access that budget. It works on the app or on the web. Both are great. I personally like to set it up on the web and then use it when I am out and about to on my app, on my phone, to see how much I have left in categories. With the paid version, you get paycheck planning. So you can visually see when your money comes in, when it goes out, how likely you are to run out of money. It is a very straightforward, visual, very easy to use app. This is what I recommend when you're getting started. For most people, I am not an affiliate. I just really like the app. You can do everything that you need with the free version. If you want to be able to link your accounts or some of the features of the paid for version, you can get the premium version and they're kind of sneaky. They don't really show you on their website very easily how much it costs, but it's $79.99 for the year if you pay up front or if you pay for Ramsey Plus where you get Financial Peace University and you can have access to the premium every dollar for a year and all of their additional tutorials and videos and stuff. And that's 129 for the year. But they give you a free 14 day trial if you wanna try the premium version. I have a lot of tutorials on every dollar. I'll put links to them down in the description box below. If you like spreadsheets and you want your accounts to be linked to your spreadsheets, then Tiller is the budgeting app for you. It is not free, which is initially years ago when I started doing this, why I did not include it on my favorite, but with Mint shutting down, majority of the apps are not free. With Tiller, you can choose between Google or Excel, whichever you prefer. They will walk you through the startup with instructions. They ask you how comfortable you are with spreadsheets. It is not as intuitive as most budgeting apps. It's not glaringly obvious where you go to add and to link your accounts but they have a guide reference to show you how to do everything. And the first time you do it, once you figure it out, it's really straightforward. You can link to your bank accounts, to your credit cards, and it's automatically going to import your transactions into your spreadsheet. You can install and use AutoCAD, 
which means you set the rules to automatically categorize your transactions for you. So this is great because it's completely customizable. So for example, I do a lot of grocery shopping at Winco. So I typed in Winco and that automatically gets categorized to groceries for me. And you can do whatever, set up whatever rules you want to do the automatic categorization for you. You can completely customize everything. But that being said, it comes with a basic template that's already set up for you. You can just edit it and customize it if you, to however you want. It is web-based. There's no tiller app. That being said, you can access it with Google Sheets or the Excel app on your phone. So for example, I used Google Sheets, created my template, and I can, in the Google Sheets app, I can pull it up and access it when I'm on the go to see how much I have left in a category. You can set it up so that it will automatically update to your linked accounts and it does it once a day. They say usually at two in the morning, um, but it automatically updates and imports your transaction once a day. And then if you choose to opt in, you can get daily emails and this is going to share with you your transactions for the last day, as well as your current balances for all of your linked accounts. You can also manually enter transactions or manually import them. With one account, you can have access to up to five different spreadsheets. And they are not free, but they give you a free 30 day trial. After that, it's $79 per year. One thing that I do like about this is some of the apps are very difficult to cancel. If you decide you don't want them, Tiller is very straightforward, very easy to cancel if you decide you don't like it. I've got a link for Tiller in the description box below. If you're interested, let me know. I will be doing some video tutorials on how to use Tiller. If you are looking for a completely free app, that is the best for tracking your wealth and spending, then Empower is the app for you. Empower is completely free, which is pretty hard to come by nowadays. And you can link everything. You can link your bank accounts, your credit cards, your investments, your mortgage, pretty much everything can be linked to Empower. In the dashboard at, when you log in at a glance, you will see a lot of information. You can see your net worth, your cash flow, your monthly budget, and then you can see things in more detail. So if you go to your net worth, it's going to give you your net worth and it's going to divide up by categories. You can click on it to see all of the details for each category and each account. You can also scroll along your net worth history to see what your net worth was at a specific day in time. Your transactions will be automatically imported and they will automatically categorize them for you. A lot of people love this feature. Um, you can edit and adjust. So if they categorize it a way you don't like, you can go in and change it. You can change multiple transactions all at once. You can rename, you can customize it to yourself. That being said, you cannot manually enter any transactions with Empower. But this is great for sorting, looking through all your transactions. Um, it's great for having a visual of your spending. It will, I mentioned it will let you see your investments. It also will let you meet with a financial planner for free. They've got savings calculators, retirement calculators, everything related to wealth is all in one. Um, the downfall of Empower is that it's not really great for budgeting. So they let you set a budget, but just one budget. So you can't do a categories for your groceries, for your utilities, for your vacation. You can't set multiple budgets for different categories. You just get one. So I set my budget to our income for the month. My goal is to spend what we make, dividing up into savings and expenses. So I set my budget at our income, but you can just set one. It does show you your spending this month compared to last month, how much you've spent of your budget um, and shows you how much is remaining in the month. Um, so it's very visual like that, just not great for individual budget categories. Um, once you've created an account, it will probably give you the option to share it with your friends and family. So here you can see, I will get $20 if, if I share it with a friend or family member and they use my link and they will get $20 as well. Um, they ask us not to share it on mass media like this, um, but most people do. So anyway, contact me, send me an email or leave me a comment so we can be friends and I'll share my link with you. I have tutorials on using Empower on the web or the app on your phone. Um, my tutorials are rather old and it's when it was called Personal Capital, but everything is exactly the same. It's just got a new name. So the tutorials, I haven't updated them because they're still pretty much the same and they're everything's still accurate in them. So check those out. I'll put a link to those in the description box below if you're interested. If you're interested in spreadsheets but don't want recurring costs with them, you can use my spreadsheet as a one-time investment or create your own. I like Google Sheets and Excel, but 
I like my own spreadsheet because I can completely customize it. You, it does not link to your bank account, but it, you manually enter in the transactions, which makes you more aware of the money you're spending and you can use it month to month, year to year, forever. I share a budget every single month on here. Um, there will be a link in the description box below if you're interested in my budget or just to see how I do our monthly budgeting. If I'm also a financial coach, so if you're needing help, with your budgeting app, I do one-time consultations. I also do group monthly accountability coaching. Check that out in the description box below. The best app for hands-on zero-based budgeting is YNAB, which stands for You Need a Budget. With YNAB, you give every dollar a job. This is a little bit different. Rather than projecting how much you're gonna make for the month, you are focusing on the money you already have in your account that you already have on hand and then you're prioritizing your bills and your expenses with that money it's i find it really good for people with extremely inconsistent income um, you can link your accounts and you can also enter in manual transactions they it is not as simple as some of the other budgeting apps there's a little bit more of a learning curve but they do have a lot of videos to get you started. After you sign up, every couple of days, they'll send you some videos. They have a guide on their website that walks you through the basics. They also have a lot of webinars. Some of them are live, some of them are pre-recorded, like the Getting Started webinar is pre-recorded, but then you can also attend live webinars to ask your own questions. So it takes a little bit longer to get started, to set it up. It's a little bit different way of thinking, but they do have a lot of resources for you. Most people I know that do end up going with YNAB absolutely love it and recommend it to everyone. It's just not for everyone. So I'm just letting you know that there are a, there is a learning curve. It takes a little bit more time and it's a different mindset. So it comes with kind of a basic template, but once again, you can customize it, rename, add, delete things. Um, in the app, things that are expenses that are yellow, you need to assign money to. So that means you have to actually assign the money from your checking account to them. With their green, that means you have money assigned, ready to spend from that category. Red means you've overspent. One thing I do really like about this app is if you go over in a category, it will let you pull money from another category. It also will let you roll over your money from month to month, and it can notify you if you go over in a category. Under the reports, it will show you your net worth, and it will show you your assets, your liabilities, and you can toggle which accounts, which things you link, which things you don't include. And it also tells you the age of your money. It is web-based as well as an app. Either work, you update one, it'll adjust the other. They have what is called YNAB together, which means you can invite up to five different people onto your account. They each have their own password and login information. And you as the manager can decide which spreadsheets, which budgets you share, which ones are hidden. It is a great app. It's just very hands on. Once again, it is not free. They offer a free 34 day trial. Then after that, it is $99 per year or $14.99 per month. Um, one thing that's great about their trial is you don't have to enter in credit card information to try it out. If you want to try out any of these budgeting apps, I've got links for them down below, as well as video tutorials for most of them. Feel free to join me on a one-on-one -on -one consultation or with group coaching to help you stay accountable for your budget. I'll have a link for that as well. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed, hit the bell so you get notified when I have new videos.